It was a crash that left an 18 year old passenger dead. The driver is charged, but the parents of the victim also want someone else charged. The driver's mother. They tell Les Trent text messages show she knew her son had a speeding problem. This teenager was killed in a high speed car crash as he sat in the passenger seat. Now his parents want the driver's mother held accountable. There's ample evidence of gross negligence, we believe, resulting in our son's death. Ann Vanker and Thad McCrell's 18-year-old son, Flynn, lost his life in the crash outside Detroit. A star swimmer, Flynn was a freshman at the University of Dayton. Cops say the 17-year-old driver was going over 100 miles an hour. The grieving parents said the driver's mom knew her son had a long history of speeding way over the limit. They say she should have taken the car keys away. The suspect's mom reportedly tracked her son's driving by the phone app Life360. If it's used by parents to track their children, uh, to know where they are physically, to know where they're driving, how fast they're driving. Investigators say the mom had previously sent her son this text message. I have screenshots of you going 123 miles per hour. Once, he allegedly hit a speed of 155 miles per hour. The point is, as it escalated and as it continued and as the speeds reached 150 miles an hour plus, she didn't take the car away. The parents cite the precedent-setting case of school shooter Ethan Crumbly, whose father and mother were convicted of involuntary manslaughter. If the mother is indeed charged here, what kind of punishment would you like to see? I'd like to see her in prison. She had four months, at least, of this homicidal, murderous criminal driving. The driver who was seriously injured has pleaded not guilty to second degree murder. We reached out to his mother, but we're told the family has no comments.